You're watching the Pray for Nathan Nature Show with your host, Nathan Pray. And we are off. Leaving the Decumsey Monument and heading downriver to Kent Bridge in Chatham, Kent. Why the Thames? Why not one of those beautiful, often traveled places up north? Why be different and paddle the seldom traveled Thames River? Because the Thames, in my opinion, is one of the most splendid rivers in all of Canada, and it seems to have been completely neglected and forgotten. With a history of over 11,000 years of human settlement, this river is making a comeback and thriving more and more every day. It's hard to believe, but the river has more biodiversity now than at the start of human settlement along its shores. How many places in Canada can say that? Arriving at Kenville at the same time as the train? Over 90% of its watershed is in the Carolinian zone, an area that makes up the southern tip of Ontario between Lake Erie, Lake Huron, and Lake Ontario. This area also happens to be the most densely populated area in Canada, and yet you can find complete solitude while paddling its 273 kilometers of flowing water. This area, the Carolinian zone, while ever so small, is the most diverse area in all of Canada. Characterized by having a predominance of deciduous trees, there are over 500 species of animals and plants that are considered rare in this fragile ecosystem. I definitely don't remember seeing this on my map, this bridge. It must be the train bridge that went by a few hours ago. As you know, I'm a huge tree lover and this place has them all. You can see a variety of trees along its shores of the Thames, and the area is heavily forested, at least from my perspective from the canoe. You hardly notice the massive agriculture influence while floating down to Lake St. Clair. This river is a fantastic spot to check out your favorite Carolinian trees. One of my particular favorites are the sycamores. I love seeing the bleached white tops coming up through the uh, fall foliage out here. This river is also home to a variety of endangered species. One of my favorite is the Eastern Spiny Softshell Turtle. It's cool to see its super long neck popping out of the river as you're paddling by. A nice little swift here. Oh, we're scraping bottom. Oh God. There's been some close ones there that could have tipped us. Woo. I remember when bald eagles were highly endangered and a sighting was a rare occurrence. It is not uncommon on the Thames to see a dozen of them or more in one day. The river has such diversity of birds that I wish I could get better at bird watching while in a moving canoe. Also the river has one of the most diverse fish communities in all of Canada. Basically this river is incredibly diverse and studies have shown that the greater the biodiversity of an area, the greater benefit there is to your mood and mental health. The river has an almost healing property to it. Second I've been seeing a train into a train out here. So I'm gonna go up all the way along there to get to the road. Yeah, 100 meters or so. This isn't so bad. Some nice place rocks and rebarb here to help you get up. But 
this isn't the side of the river that I want it to get up on. I originally had scouted out this area. And from over there, you could go up, follow this little, uh, look like it was a line to check the hydro or flow meter over there. Anyways, that's blocked by a log jam, so I decided not to go that way. It's nice when there's two sides to a river though. So I encourage you to get out there and explore the Thames. If you need any assistance, please comment on this YouTube video and I can point you in the right direction.